Hey guys, Zilios here, and today I'm going to show you how to check your key vault on your RGH or JTAG console. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is download Flash 360 and extract it to your desktop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in the folders, and we're going to work with these two files right here, the media folder and the flash360.xex. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial is I'm going to take both these files right here and put them on my flash drive and transfer them to my RGH. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our flash drive and we're going to copy and paste these files into our flash drive and then we're going to take the flash drive and put it in our RGH. Alright, I'm going to switch to the Xbox now so I can show you guys what to do. Okay, so once we plugged our flash drive into our Xbox, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the file manager. We're going to select our USB and we're going to see the media and the flash360.xex file. We're going to select the flash360.xex. Alright, so when it brings you to the screen, you're going to press X to back up current NAND file and press A to save entire NAND file. And it should start writing your NAND to your flash drive. I'm going to skip ahead so you don't have to watch the rest of the NAND dump. So once our NAND dump is finished, we're going to press any button to continue. We're going to press the back button on our controller and press it again to go to the dashboard. Okay, so now that we've written the NAND to our flash drive, we're going to put the flash drive back into the computer to finish the rest of the process. Okay, so once you have your NAND on your flash drive, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your flash drive on your computer, and you're going to go to the flashdump.bin file that you just made, and you're going to drag that to your desktop. Now for the sake of time, I've already dragged it to my desktop since it's half a gigabyte large. So now what you're going to do, is you're going to open 360 flash tool, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to keys, and you're going to make sure this XEX1 and CPU key are both checked off. Now in order to get your CPU key, uh, I'll have a link in the description and a uh, annotation that you can click on in order to see how to get your CPU key. It's very simple. So what you do now is you're going to paste your CPU key into the CPU key line and then click OK and then click open file right here navigate to your desktop and click the flash dump dot bin file that you just made All right. so now that it shows all this data what we're going to do is we're going to click extract we're going to click key vault and then we're going to click ok go to the desktop click ok and we see this key vault folder has been made now we're going to click on that and we're going to delete the kvenc dot bin since we do not need that and we're going to rename kvdec.bin to just kv.bin. This is our key vault file right here. This is what we're going to use in order to check whether our console is banned or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to open uh, HXD and we're going to drag the kv.bin file into the hex editor. And about three lines down from this big space up top you'll see some numbers. This is your serial number. What you're going to do is you're going to copy that and you're going to go to your internet browser and you're going to go to enforcement.xbox.com forward slash home forward slash console check and what this website does is it checks your console serial number for a ban or any sort of thing like that and it'll tell you whether or not it's banned so what you do is you sign in you click your console type mine is a fat jasper so original xbox 360 uh, paste your serial number in the line right here and click I have read and agree with terms of use and then click check. No enforcement action has been found. This could mean the console has not been banned, tempered, stolen, or is defective. Uh, basically the console is not banned. The KV is unbanned and this is how you determine whether or not it's banned. You can only do so many console checks per hour so uh, don't keep clicking check. It'll lock you out for quite a while until you can do it again. So that's how you check whether or not your key vault is banned. Um, an easier way could be just to go to 360 flash dump tool and just copy the serial number right here. I only did it through the key vault because it is a easier, more surefire way to get your serial number. You only need the key vault, you don't need the entire flash dump. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you have a question, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.